been personally promised by Simon Says and Eric Cooper that this is going to be the match of the night. And I have also received a promise from Bums R Us that those two are going to dive out of the ring tonight. Whoever they have to dive on, if they have to dive on fans, they're going to do it. So, folks, you're in for a great match. I can guarantee that to you as Vintage Wrestling at Wrestle Brawl is going to crown their first ever tag team champions in a match between the Northeast All-Stars in green and black. That's Eric Cooper and Simon Says taking on Los Bendejos on your left, excuse me, on your right and in the ring right now taking a spine buster. Los Bendejos, Bendejo and Mordecon and there's Simon Says and and Eric Cooper yucking it up at the expense of Bendejo. And, and this match is a triple threat match. That's Bums R Us is the third tag team. Bums R Us, who claim that they will wrestle for food. That's Milo Beasley. And of course, Ray Bees, the hardcore icon Ray Bees that he is. Folks. Vintage Wrestling here from Sanford, Florida. This is a luchador rules match. So for you folks who aren't familiar with luchador rules, which certainly gives Los Pendejos the advantage, but folks, if you're not used to luchador rules, um, just stay with me here. If you go outside the ring, new man can come in. All sorts of crazy rules. And check this out. Marty Kong breaking up the potential three count there. Your referee for this evening, Danny Kay, Dan Kriegman, Dan the man, the man who has moccasins for shoes, and and he is in the black and white black and white pinstripes in the match, and there is Los Bendejo, Son Bendejo, getting steamrolled, goodness, by Ray Bees. Now Ray Bees of Bums are us going to go for the cover. Marty Cohn coming in. I have a feeling that none of these teams are going to let a clean three count occur very easily as all three teams want to win this match. Now, Eric Cooper leaning in wanting the tag. Simon Says wanting the tag. And with this luchador rules, you can tag in anyone and they have to make contact with each other. So you're going to see Simon Says squaring off against his tag team partner, Eric Cooper. They have to make contact here. Eric Cooper against the ropes and duck under. And I guess that counts the old Jeff Jarrett Poe going for the count. The one, two, he, he almost won the match against his own partner. And Eric Cooper, I guess, would have won that match and made himself the new tag team champion. They don't call him the Cerebral Assassins for nothing. And look at this, all six men are in the ring. Now uh, Ben Dejo rolling out of the ring. Marty Cohn in the corner with Milo Beasley, as well as Simon Says in the ring right now. It's hard to tell in these luchador matches who's the legal man. And oh, oh Eric Cooper taking a sick thud uh, suplex against the pavement there. And look at this. Look at this, Bendejo with the dive outside. He kept his promise. Bendejo of Los Bendejos. And look at Simon, Simon Says turned inside out by that. Eric Cooper looks KO'd. Eric Cooper took a hell of a suplex on the concrete just moments ago before taking a dive by Bendejo to the outside of the ring over the top rope, over that turnbuckle. Now Ray B's. Ray Bees, again, he also promised that he was going to take a hell of a dive here. And Ray Bees, look at this. Oh, 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 this is an impressive match already, folks. I've got my money's worth for the price of admission here at Vintage Wrestling in Sanford, Florida. A packed crowd tonight. There you see Bumblebee, Bumblebee Boy in the front row, yellow and black, supporting Los Bandejos. You see all the fans and friends here tonight. You see the Bourbon Street Mafia and the Afro Squad were able to make it out to this match. And Marty Cohn, he's got something up. Marty Cohn's got something up his sleeve here. And Marty Cohn now off the ropes. Looks like he's going to go airborne. And no, he did not pull that off. And with a big boon saw off the second rope to the outside. Goodness. Marty Cohn, a death defier trained by the Dudley boys. Marty and Ben were trained by the Dudley boys there. Referee Danny Kriegman checking to see that everyone's still alive here. Danny Kay, uh, the man with the big shoes, 
They don't call him Mr. Hung for nothing. And Dan is, I guess he should be counting something here, but uh, pinfall has to occur for the for the tag team titles to change hands. And look at this, Milo Beasley now going to the top rope. Milo Beasley, very comfortable out there. I've seen this man do some uh, crazy and amazing things. A uh, man who's wrestled for full Impact Pro, uh, waiting for all these guys. Looks like he's gonna take a dive on all of them. But they were prepared as uh, Milo Beasley caught and thrown back to the ring. Milo's gonna have to come up with something better than that. And look at this, Milo diving to the outside, my goodness. Uh, Ray Bees and Milo Beasley, AKA Bums Are Us, known as one of the premier tag teams in Florida wrestling history for a reason. <laughs> oh, vicious uh, whirlwind clothesline there. And oh, Simon Says hits the Says Express. That might put him away. Uh, Simon Says celebrating. Simon Says celebrating there. And a big double kick in Seguri and Savat kick at the same time. Simon Says with the salute goes down. And now, big spinning right hand by Milo. Uh, just a series of vicious hits now after all those big dives to the outside. And now Ray B switching it up. Ooh, ooh Savat kick into a into a back suplex there, and and we'll have to see, it. definitely someone could get covered here. Ray Bees, Milo Beasley, look at this, Eric Cooper in the corner, oh, oh how does he do that? How are these guys gonna survive? This is insane. Milo, Milo, uh, he might be handicapped after this match, and Eric Cooper with the green and black uh, uh, socks with the cover, the one, two, uh, Ray Bees wasn't able to get that three count. Again, uh, the Northeast All-Stars in green and black tonight. Northeast All-Stars comprised of Simon Says, the ASW Heavyweight Champion, and Eric Cooper, the American Combat Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, and Ray Bees with, uh, with Milo Beasley, Bums R Us, one of the top tag teams in Florida wrestling history, as well as the up-and-comers, uh, Marty Cohn and Bendejo, Los Bendejos, trained by the Dudley Boys. And look at this, Ray, excuse me, Milo Beasley up to the top rope. He was gonna go for something big there. Both men, uh, this isn't gonna turn out well. Both men looking to knock the other one down to that hard concrete, uh, trying to gain the advantage here. Milo, Milo going for that suplex. Marty Cohn not positioned well here. <laughs> Takes the brunt of it down to the concrete floor. All six men going to the concrete. Folks, this is vintage wrestling at its finest. And folks, this is a mid-card match, if you can call it that. This is this is a main event match anywhere in the state. And these guys are putting it on as the middle of the card. Tremendous here, folks. Eric Cooper again, and Simon says, both heavyweight champions and other organizations. Eric Cooper putting his shoulder into Ben Dejo, now throwing him up against the uh, turnbuckle grabs him, and uh, I'm not sure what that was, but it might result in a cover, but I'm not sure who took the brunt of that attack. As you have Ben Dejo and Eric Cooper both on the ground, and Dan Kriegman, Danny Kay, can do nothing but count and see what happens. And now look at this, I've seen Los Bendejos both go to the top ropes before with a double van terminator, the only two men I've ever seen that do this, but instead now Marty Cohn uh, looking like he wants to climb the ropes. Ben Dejo looking like he wants to climb the ropes. This this might, uh, no, Simon Says interrupts that on one side. Looks like rabies on the other. Oh, look at this, schoolboy roll up. And we have victors. Eric Cooper just won the, the Vintage Wrestling Heavyweight Championship with a schoolboy roll up after all those huge moves. We have uh, inaugural tag team champions, first ever tag team champions here in Vintage Wrestling. And Eric Cooper and Simon Says now between them hold four belts. Big year for uh, Northeast All Stars. All the ladies quivering and shaking and wetting their beds tonight for Eric Cooper and Simon Says, the Northeast All Star.